If you had a chance to own an older gun, would you take that chance? Let me know down below. Different kind of video for you today. Uh, today we're talking about old shotguns and an old rifle. My neighbor, who's a friend of mine, he sent me a text, said, hey Andrew, I want you to come take a look at some uh, shotguns, some old shotguns I want to get rid of. So sure. So this is what I was, this is what I was presented with. They were wrapped up in this blanket here, zip tied. My buddy is not a shooter, so I just don't know when these were shot last. Probably a very, very long time. But uh, I'll go over the three real quick, and then I'll do them individually. The first one, we've got a Springfield 80, Model 86C. It is a bolt action, 22 short long and 22 long rifle. Uh, it's 24 inch barrel. And this was made either pre or post 1948. Not quite sure, would have to do some more research. Number two is the middle child. This is a La Fever Nitro Special. I believe it's a 16 gauge, but I'm not sure. It's a double barrel shotgun, dual trigger. This one was made in 1927. And then the oldest and heaviest is a TC Montgomery double barrel 12 gauge shotgun. This one was made pre-1914, so this one is over 100 years old. And this is a 12 gauge. So let's bring it in and we'll go over each one pretty quickly. This here is the first one. This is the Springfield model. I don't know if you can see that or not. Model 86C. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a bolt action. It has a safety. It is chambered in 22 LR and 22 short. It's got a rear sight, a middle flip up sight. Pretty neat. And then a front sight. It's got a tube for your extra rounds and it's pretty nice. I mean, everybody should have a 22 LR rifle. And this one, this is the one at minimum I'm thinking of picking up. It's got a huge crack in the stock, which goes all the way through that screw, all the way to about here. So, but that shouldn't affect the function whatsoever. And this is the one that I think I'm gonna pick up at, at a minimum. So it's made either pre or post 1948. I gotta find out if this stamp with the J. Stevens Arms Company is what makes it post 1948. I'm thinking it does, but still pretty neat, pretty neat rifle, nice weight to it. And that'll do it for this one. This is the second one. This is the La Fever Nitro Special made by La Fever Arms in Ithaca, New York. Um, this one is from 1927. It is a 28 inch barrel, double barrel shotgun. I'm pretty sure that that's 16 gauge, but I'm not 100%. When this one, when you do the other one, which I show you next, when you close the barrel, that snaps shut, but I have to do that manually. So I don't know if it's just not working properly or if it's a defect or if it, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's got a safety here. Um, this one's pretty neat too. It's got a dual trigger. So one barrel, the second barrel. Um, got really nice wood engraving. It's on both sides. And then it's on the bottom of the handle here or where your hand would go. Uh, you know, not in the best, not in pristine condition. I wouldn't say that that's excellent, but it's definitely good. It's not beat to hell, but it's definitely pretty good. But, uh, it's, and then it's got a front sight post right there. So it's pretty neat. I don't own a shotgun and um, I was thinking about picking this one up also, but I'm not sure. 
we'll see. Also has this cool engraving. I don't know if we'll be able to get it to focus, but it's a duck over some grass. Maybe that'll come out, but pretty neat, pretty neat shotgun. Um, we'll definitely need a nice little cleanup, but definitely thinking of picking this one up too. This is, this is the last one, the big Mamma Jamma. It's heavy. Um, this is TC Montgomery, double barrel shotgun. That's a 12 gauge, 32 inch barrel. See now that one locks shut from the get go. Uh, got a nice, nice wood here. Looks like a tiger grain. And then it's got that same type of wood engrave or markings, but definitely more worn. Can't see it too well. It's got really nice engravings on the metal. I hope that comes out. Otherwise, you're just staring at my mouth. Um, and then on the side here, it says TC Montgomery. Uh, double trigger again. Pull these things back, whatever they're called, I don't know. And then trigger, trigger. So it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, this one's super heavy, uh, but it is totally badass. Um, we'll see if he just wants to unload them or whatnot. You know, the stock, again, it was wrapped up in a towel or blanket and zip tied for however many years and not shot. So. The barrels definitely need to get cleaned out and, but I mean, how intimidating does this look? Not too bad, right? All right, that's it for these three. Well, there you have it, you saw all three. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. You think I should make an offer to my friend? See if he'll just unload them, save them the hassle of trying to sell these individually or getting really low balled at a, uh, a shop or whatever, eh, let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links, Amazon store, and uh, use my coupon code at Core Essentials. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.